Dr. Mary Bryan became a physician at a time when women were still struggling to get the right to vote and certainly were not encouraged to attend college, let alone take up a profession. She was born in 1854 in Lisbon, New York, the daughter of Miles and Sarah Martin Bryan. The family moved to Ogdensburg by 1863, residing on Green Street. She attended public schools, then taught in city schools for nine years. In 1883, she resigned her teaching position to enter the Women's Medical College in Philadelphia, receiving her medical degree in 1887. After practicing in Colorado Springs a short time, she went to New York City to become house physician in the Methodist Deaconess Home. After two years, she went to India as a missionary, and for the next six years, she had charge of a women's hospital at Barely, a town located on the Ramganja River in India. Reportedly, she treated 16,500 people annually. Missionaries reported that 2.5 million people lived in the district. While there, she saved the life of the queen's four-year-old son. The queen offered her the position of private physician in her household, which included a retinue of servants, a camel, and summer and winter homes. Due to ill health, Dr. Bryan did not accept the offer, returning to the United States in 1897. The Queen contacted her again, but Dr. Bryan decided to stay in the United States. She returned to Ogdensburg, setting up practice at 50 Green Street, and was a physician in charge of infants at the United Helpers Home. Throughout her life, she worked closely with the Society of United Helpers as a medical director. Later, she moved her office to 322 Elizabeth Street. Although she was a skillful surgeon, she practiced general medicine, most likely because at the time, female surgeons were not accepted as easily as those practicing general medicine. Dr. Bryan became a member of the Alpha University Extension Club, which was organized in 1894 as a women's study group. She presented a number of programs about her time in India. In 1927, she donated her entire collection of artifacts from India to the Ogdensburg Public Library, including a large ostrich egg, as well as medical books. She also donated a large number of books to the Lisbon Hepburn Public Library. Dr. Bryan retired from practice in 1929. After suffering a stroke, she passed away in August of 1931, leaving behind a legacy of healing and trailblazing a path for women in the medical profession.